I just showed you how to do a basic loop. Now, you don't have to put the incrementer right here. If you wanted, you could leave that spot open, even though that would be weird, and then hit save, and then check, and you'll see that it operates the exact same way. I wouldn't recommend that you do it that way, but just saying that you could. All right, let's go ahead and work on an interesting problem right now. Imagine that there are 40 people in the room with me. And have you seen the, the movie The Avengers? In one of the recent Avengers movies, Thanos made half the people in the galaxy disappear. What if we did something similar with our code? We decided that we're going to make 50% of the people in our room randomly disappear. Uh, right now, we are planning for 101. Uh, so let's change this. And here we go. I'm going to start off doing this a little differently. Let I count. So I've declared a variable. And this really is going to be where I'm going to use it in my for loop but it also represents the idea of a person. So if there's 40 people in our room and we count up from one to 40, um, at any given point, that's the ID of an individual. So I'll say this holds the person ID in essence. And we want to loop through 40 people. We'll do less than or equal to 40. We don't want to go higher than 40. We just want to step through each person and then randomly decide whether to display them or not. Now, because I have already declared this variable, I don't need to declare it twice. So I'm just going to set it to something because it's already been created. And also, one reason why I set it out here is because when this for loop is done, I want this variable to still exist, and it's not going to exist unless I created it outside of the loop. It's just how JavaScript works. Okay, so now I want to, with 50-50 chance, determine whether or not we should include somebody in our output. So let's go ahead and give this a shot. I'll say, let uh, I random number and I'm going to make a little note here. I'll say, will hold a random number. So the high level idea here is every single time I loop through here, I'm going to keep on setting this to something that either comes to true or false. So here we go. So I'm in here and I'll say, I random number equals math.random. And you know what random returns? It returns a number between zero and one. Uh, so that seems a little, little strange, um, but let's just work with that and say, okay, anything between zero and 0.5 will be, um, they stay, and anything between 0.5 and one, they have to go. So, all right, so since we have that in our head in each case, uh, let's go ahead and actually let's just kind of watch this work for a second so we can verify this. So I'll do plus, oops, let's verify that random number is doing what we think it should be doing. Okay, so we're looping through 40 times. I like to build programs a step at a time so that way I make sure I don't make any errors before I get too far in. So let's go and check over here. And I see for each of my 40 people, I'm returning uh, a number between, again, zero and one on the, on the right-hand side. And if it's greater than 0.5, I wanna make them disappear. So let's, let's watch that happen. So now that it's working predictably, let's go ahead and put it in an if statement. So I'll say if I random number, is greater than or equal to 0 0.5, then I'm going to put a little statement here and I'll say, let me just copy and paste this code that I had before. And I'll say, 
this person has to leave. I can't remember which order I said in terms of staying or going. And just for debugging purposes, I'll leave that there. And then over here, I'll say, this other number, so if it's anything other than between zero to zero, or sorry, this is greater than 0.5. So if you're less than 0.5, then I'll say gets to stay. All right, so 50% of the time, randomly, I should be getting this message, and 50% of the time, I should be getting that message. Let's check it out. There we go. Has to leave, stay, leave, stay, leave, stay. Uh, let's check the logic here. This is over 0.5, has to leave. This is, oh, interesting. Well, this, this one says it's, oh, it's not 0.5, it's 0.05. So this is less than 0.5, you get to stay. 0.1 is less than 0.5, get to stay. 0.0 is uh, less than 0.5. So it appears to be working, this is good. All right, now I just kind of like to clean things up a little bit so it's not quite as bad. Um, and so first off, let's get rid of that, uh, this additional stuff on the end. Let's get too messy. Okay. So another thing I'm curious about then is maybe just getting a summary count of who stays and who goes. Now in the movie, the Avengers, there are potentially, you know, hundreds or more of billions of people in the galaxy. And if we were doing, if we were working with those numbers rather than uh, 40 people in a room, then it would be pretty awful to do a little count like I have here at the end to see how close I got to 50%. Plus, as a person who works with computers, I like to, I like to know how well the computer did. If they tell me that they're doing something randomly, well, how close to random is it really? So I'd like to get just some raw counts and see that at the end. So let's go ahead and create some variables for that. So I'll say let i staying equals zero and let i going equals zero. And so this is the leaving one. So I'll say i going. And so every time we print that out, I'll do plus plus. And then every time somebody gets to stay, I'm gonna take that variable and I'm gonna increment it one. And then when all is said and done, I'm going to put this little statement at the end, console.log, and I'll say staying plus i staying, and then concatenate on some additional stuff here, going plus i going. All right, this should work. Let's see what happens. I save, I go over to the new window. Ooh, that doesn't look very balanced. Let's see what happens. Refresh, 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 refresh. Okay, so the numbers jam bounce all over the place, and I suppose if you're talking about randomness, it's not a perfect 50-50 split every single time but this does seem to be doing exactly what I wanted to do. All right, so let's go ahead and stop there before I move on to the next topic.